Hello, and welcome to the Saw Guy Podcast. Like scary movies. Uh-huh. What's your favorite scary movie? Here's Johnny. Oh, Tad, you are so uncomfortable. The boogeyman is real, and you found him. Game over, man. Game over. What do you want? I want to hear you scream. Welcome to the Saw Guy Podcast. As always, I'm the Saw Guy. Coming at you right now with another episode. I got a damn good topic. But I always have good topics on my show, right? (laughs) Obviously, you can tell from what I'm wearing and my mask. We're going to be talking about clowns and horror films. Ooh, oh man. What I like about clowns and horror films now these days, guys, is that clowns and horror films have become the new zombies, the new werewolves, the new vampires... It's a new scary shit to add into the horror genre, which is really cool, you know? And I want to take time out of this episode to bring it on. Like, which clown films were good, which ones were scary, which ones were creepy, which ones were even corny if you like the horror comedy thing. I don't do horror comedy as much, but I do like a good killer clown film every now and then. So that's what this episode's about. So thank you for tuning in, and let's get started. So anyways, when you think of a good clown horror film, right off the bat... Everybody that I've ever asked, the, the main clowns that they're going to tell me is the clowns from Killer Clowns. And out, wait, no. Fuck that up. <laughs> Cl- Killer cl- See, there I go again. Killer Clowns from Outer Space and then Pennywise from It. But there's also other ones. I mean, you got Killjoy. You got the more recent one, Clown, that just came out. Um, they say Eli Roth did it or he presented it. But that was another good story that he did or that the other people did and he presented but there's so many different ones. I mean, you can even consider House of a Thousand Corpse with Captain fucking Spaulding, you know? But um, that's typically what most people think of clowns and horror films now these days. But to me, when I think of a good clown horror film, they have to be like 90% now these days. They're all slasher films. There's never really a good clown horror film that has to do with like the supernatural or anything like that or like a clown ghost. There has been some, don't get me wrong. The last movie, Clown, that just came out, more recent one, that had to do with a uh, demon clown, which was pretty cool. They put on the skin suit and everything, and then it goes from there, but see, I'm already getting into too, too intense. That's how excited I am for this fucking episode today. But anyways, I, to me, the question that I normally ask is, what makes a good clown horror film? What makes clowns scary in horror films? I should rephrase that. And to me... I don't think it's so much of the creepiness, because clowns in general, they're not supposed to be creepy, but people have this fear of clowns and it just trips them out. So everybody's different interpretation of a clown, like, it it intrigues me, it really does. I don't know if it intrigues you, I don't know if you think that there's a clown scarier than Pennywise or Killjoy or any of the other ones out there, but let me know in the comment section down below, see what you guys tell me. Uh, I'm always interested to hear that, I really am. But when I think about clown horror films, I do think It, because that one was another scary one. But what makes them good, I think it's the fact that it plays in to your normal clowns. The chuckles, the laughs, the way they look, the makeup. There's, there's a bunch of different factors with it. It really is. Now, when I think about it, I start thinking, okay, well, Pennywise is scary as shit. And... Even the original one with Tim Curry and the new one, um, I think his name's Bill Skarsgård, Skarsgård. Quote me if I'm wrong, I probably fucked that up. I'm not good with names. But anyways, they did that clown really good and played into a lot of stuff of the creepiness. But what I liked about it is that in that movie, the clown, Pennywise, he wasn't supposed to be like a clown. It was basically he was more of a monster or this thing, this it. He would turn into a clown to attract kids and stuff like that. And I think that's one of the reasons that makes it scary for some people is that clowns are tied in with kids. Kind of like werewolves are tied into like silver bullets, full moons, and shit like that, you know. But it's interesting to, th- to think about and to have your take on. But when I think about it, and I know I've got to say that a lot because everything's always just coming in my mind when I get these ideas going for each show, you know. But 
with clowns, there you can't go wrong with them. You really can't. I mean, every clown is creepy. There hasn't been one creepy clown film that's really that somebody has said, "Hey, that clown sucked," or you know, that wasn't scary. And that, and, you know, everyone says all that. But personally, for me, I like clown horror films that are slasher because you knew what to expect. But what's even good about clown slasher films? There, there's some things that you don't expect, like, look at Stitches. If you haven't seen Stitches, Stitches is this film, I believe it was created or filmed in Ireland. But anyways, it has to deal with not so much of a killer clown, but he was a clown that went to a kid's party. This weird fucked up accident happened, kind of like Final Destination. He slips and falls and knives go through him, you know. But anyways, he comes back from the dead, from the clown spirits, and he tries to kill all those kids that were there at the birthday party that contributed to his death. Now, what was cool about that one was they had over-the-top kills, and that's what's cool. I mean, you can get away with that in a clown horror film. They had films, well, films. They had a spot where basically there was this fat kid in, in there, and they they turned him into more of a glutton, the character, the fat kid, and so... The kill in that movie is that he would basically kill them and he ate out his brains. You know, kind of corny, haha. -ha. Same thing with Killer Clowns from Outer Space. They do some corny ones. And see, you have to expect that with a clown because with clowns, they're supposed to be corny, they're supposed to be cheesy, shit like that, you know? With Pennywise and It, he never really killed anybody, per se. It was more or less he possessed them, he controlled them. They never showed it like in the original film they did show that he went after kids but they left to the imagination now the remake the remake showed how he bit off Jordy's arm and all that but um back in the day you know they had it more more toned down built to the imagination right but with other clown films because i know i'm mostly talking about it i'm mostly talking about killer clowns from outer space but there's other ones too like house of a thousand corpse i I wouldn't say that's more of a clown horror film, but I would say that's more clowns tied in versus Devil's Reject, the sequel. And the reason being is because you had Captain Spaulding, who is a character that the great Sid Hag did, and he did the whole clown makeup and everything, and he kind of joked around with more of that clown humor. Like, oh yeah, fuck your mama, fuck your sister, you know? And that that's what's actually pretty cool with clown films, is that they can tie in and do over-the-top kills and still make it good. They can do it corny, they can do it pretty good and make it more horrific. They can make it downright creepy or scary. So, I say, with that being said, what makes a good clown horror film, back to what I was saying, is just basically how it's presented, how you execute it, you know? So if you're going to do, say for instance, the recent film Clown, if you do it that style, you have to make it more realistic. And, yeah, it had some corny scenes in it, but... I mean, for what it was, it was really different and good because it, it goes back to saying you could say that with vampires, you could say that with werewolves and zombies and shit like that. But, you know, with clowns, I like the fact that it's the newer genre coming out. And you see this whole change in horror from time to time. A few years ago, everything was all about zombies, walking dead. Before that, you had werewolves. Before that, you had vampires. Now it's the fucking clown time, you know? But what's good about the clowns is that, like I said, you can do over-the-top kills, you can make it corny, you can make it funny, you can make it scary, creepy, you can do anything with it. And with that being said, I, I like how they go with that, you know? They really do. And from people that I've talked to, whether it's friends, things like that, people I talk to you guys on the show, everybody gives me their two cents on it. And I... And, it really intrigues me a lot. It really does because, you know, some people will tell me, well, I always remember Pennywise because of the first scene where you see his mouth open, you know? Okay, I could see that. I could see why that's scary. I've had people tell me that there's, you know, Clown was another scary one. Man, I have all this list of all these different clown films. And if you think about it, there's Stitches. Of course, I already talked about Stitches, but that's... That's not creepy. That's more like corny, slasher, you know, stuff how it's supposed to be, like back in the 80s, how they had it, like, B-rate. Like, you know what to expect, right? But Stitches, I like that one because as corny as it was, there was some humor in it, which 
you know, that's for another episode later that had to do with horror and comedy. But if you really like that style of genre, I say go for it. Now, when you think about other clowns in horror films, some people are going to tell me about, okay, what was it, Zombie Land or Zombie World, the one with uh, Woody Harrelson. I I seen it one time, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a big horror comedy guy, but, you know, it was pretty cool how they tied in how one of the characters was afraid of clowns, which was pretty cool, and they did the whole clown zombie thing. And clowns, it just, it, it's cool how they do it. It's different. It's unique. And that that's why I'm like, wow, you know, and thinking about it when I'm doing these ideas for my episodes, I had to tie this in. I really did, you know. And some people won't pay attention to it. They're not. Maybe some of you guys are super fans like me, some of you aren't. But as I start seeing that they start making more horror films with clowns tied into it, you know, shit, they even did the Poltergeist remake, which has a little, you know, small looking doll, clown doll in the series already in the original. But when they remade it, it's like, whoa, okay. So they kind of went over the top on that. But when you think about all the different clown horror films, the one that really sticks out to me and that I will put number one on the list, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say... Uh, House Without a Corpse. I will say that now, if you include everything, you have to include the clown, the the recent one that came out. Um, I always want to say Eli Roth did it, but I know Eli Roth didn't do it. It says Eli Roth presents, you know. But I like that one on top of the list because the way that they had done it, the fact that the father goes in. If you've never seen the movie, spoiler alert. I'm going to spoil it for you because it's a damn good film. Basically, the story goes, the guy's working, he can't get a clown, or the clown cancel last minute, he finds his clown suit, he puts it on, and, you know, great show for his kid's birthday, and then later on he tries to take it off, he can't take it off, and then later on in the story you find out that it's actually a clown demon skin, and it basically turns into a clown demon that eats children. And that film, I think, it was good for the story, I love the story, but... It just went over the top with it. And, you know, when you go over the top with stuff like that, holy shit, that, that's, wow. That, that's genre changing, you know? Because if you think about it, after it, when it came out, there, there was a little bit of, you know, different clowns and horror films and stuff. Full Moon, they took advantage of it, and they did Killjoy. Killjoy was good, but then later on they had to make sequels, and then... You know, Full Moon did that thing where they just, you know, they have different types of killer clowns in their series and stuff like that. It got confusing when they started making so many sequels. And, um, but anyways, I, I still kept up and followed it. But there's other stuff that a lot of people don't like about clowns. Um, John Wayne Gacy for, you know, out there. I don't know if you guys know. But John Wayne Gacy, he was a serial killer and he had an alter ego that he would dress up as a clown that he named Pogo. Well, obviously, you know, with serial killers there's been this craze that everybody wants to you know make a biopic movie about it make a mockumentary or they want to do something that ties into what the serial killer was well anyways they got the uh god i can't remember the actor's name but they got the kid who stole peewee's bike from peewee herman's big adventure and they turned him into playing john wayne gacy which was a phenomenal fucking role that's one of my favorite you know Gacy movies that they've ever done whether it's documentary or not but that's another episode but when you start talking about that and seeing the movie you'll see like wow okay he fits you know directly what they were going for as far as the style and everything because John Wayne Gacy was really big into clowns he made his own character kind of like I did with the saw guy you know but there's a difference you know I'm the saw guy that's not the same you know <laughs> but anyways you know there's Gacy that, that was another good film I, you can't really consider that more clown film because it's more documentary, mockumentary kind of thing. But there's a bunch of other ones. Um, going through my list, oh, you can't you can't forget about 31. 31 was more of a recent film that came out that Rob Zombie did. Some of you have seen it, some of you haven't. There's a scene in there where they have people dressed up as clowns, but they are wielding chainsaws. Two of my fucking favorite things, you know, clowns and chainsaws. Can't go wrong with that, you know. But um, you have a lot of clown amusement park theme kind of to that movie. And that one, straight up slasher. It's good for me. I love slashers. I love 
all that stuff, you know. But if slashers isn't your take or gore, mm, I say at least see it once or twice, you know, see if you like it or whatever. Because that was another good one. And when I look at other ones here, of course you got Fun House. What other ones you got? I already said Stitches. And, well, you can't really talk about clowns if you don't talk about He Who Gets Slapped. Now, that's an old movie. I don't know if that's one of those movies that you can still find. Maybe they might have it on YouTube, I think. But it's basically Lon Chaney, and it's a story about a clown who wants to be, like, the biggest well-known clown and things like that, you know? And there, I won't spoil it too much, but basically there's tragic and stuff. And it's kind of like this soapy kind of horrific comedic dark humor sense about it that that's that's like the earliest film that you can spot like clowns in as far as how they push the creepy boundaries and things like that but i when i was researching for this episode i think i found it on youtube or one of these streaming sites and just to view it to watch it to see what it is about and uh i was intrigued that was really actually pretty good for what it was it's a silent film but uh it was pretty good you know, I, I won't complain on that, but if you think about it, there's, it's kind of, I don't know. You, you've you seen clowns, they play a role in the last season of American Horror Story. And, you know, that, <laughs> you know, American Horror Story, it's, it's a different subject, but I, I will talk about that later. But anyways, in American Horror Story, the last season that just finished, um, what they're, what they did is that they played in a little bit of like the fear of clowns and stuff. Which was actually pretty cool because during, not in 2018, but a little bit in 2017, 2016, you had people dress up as clowns. Now, I don't know if it was, it started because of, of a marketing gimmick thing for the It remake or what, but you had a bunch of people dressing up as clowns trying to creep out people and they did stupid shit. And for some reason, just after that first story that came out, it just everything about clowns blew up you know and it just <clears throat> it just became this whole new genre bending thing you know so if you think about slasher films now when you think about slasher films you have to think about different types of creatures or different type of people in there whether if there's uh werewolves vampires shit like that but like i said and i'm gonna say it numerous times clowns is the new thing in horror films and the reason why is just because it's just you see this trend of things where it goes and clowns is in and that's why i i was excited doing this episode like holy shit no one's really ever talked about it so it's all guys bringing it to you hopefully i'm the first guy bringing it but anyways you know i i like the idea of having more clown horror films i don't know well i know they're doing a sequel for it you know obviously they have to do a sequel the first one they the way they ended it but uh, other films I don't know if you can go far with it. That's the only problem, you know? Like, when you think of clown horror films, even the recent ones, nine times out of ten, they're all slasher films. Even Stitches. Stitches is a slasher film with a comedic role to it, but it's all slasher. You know, you know what to expect. And with slasher films, they all have different rules and things that they all kind of follow that classifies it as slasher. But, you know... Maybe we might talk about that in the next episode. Who knows, right? So, anyways, I like I like the clown genre. I want to know what you guys think of the clown genre, really, because everything's kind of blown up to it. I would even go as far as saying my favorite fucking horror movie of all time and series, obviously, is Saw. I mean, come on. My, my show is named after the Saw guy, you know, right? So, but anyways, I would say with Saw, it kind of played a role... As far as how they develop Billy with the clown looking face and the swirls on the cheek. Because that really defines more or less like how the styles of clowns are. And their makeup and the way they're set up. The, my favorite makeup out of clowns, out of all the clowns. I know a lot of people are going to give me shit about this. But if you've seen this movie, it's called Mockingbird. It was one of those straight to Netflix, straight to Redbox movies. There was a scene where... Basically, the whole movie is all set up to where they have cameras following you. They say we're watching you and all this shit. But anyways, there's this one scene in the movie where they get a guy and they said, okay, well, we want you to dress up as a clown. And the way they did his makeup was just phenomenal. I mean, he wore the old school white, you know, suit set up. 
Kind of look like Twisty the Clown from American Horror Story, which, you know, that's another good clown character right there. And um, they had him dressed up, and basically he had to do all this stupid shit and everything. The movie was... I liked it. You guys probably won't because it's slow and everything like that. But anyways, I thought that was one of the more better makeups of clowns. And of course, you have to put Captain Spaulding up there on the top. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I really do like the effects. I like the makeup, what they did with it, but... I'm not a horror comedy guy, you know? It, it's If you're going to do comedy and horror, it's like two different worlds, you know? Like, they're, they're separate. If you're able to combine it and make it work good, I mean, it's... You can do magic with it. You really can, you know? And it's really been pretty good so far what they've done with some films, you know? Um, I don't know. It's just... We, <laughs> Now I'm thinking about comedy horror, but anyways, I, with clown horror films, I really want to know your guys' input, what's the scariest one that you guys thought was, which one was the creepiest, you know, because there, there's so many different ones, there's so many different ways you can look at it, but automatically, everybody that I've talked to, and, you know, out over here, they all said it's all Pennywise, it's all it. Some say Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Not too many people know about Stitches unless you're a true horror fan or if you like watching horror films and stuff like that. There's other ones too. I like... I wrote a bunch of other ones here down the list. What I thought was another interesting one was Clown House. And I know I didn't talk about that and I just saw it right here in my paperwork. But anyways, with Clown House, that really played into the story of like killer inmates. They run amok. They run loose. They beat the shit and kill out of these clown, these guys dressed up in clown makeup. They dress in clowns and they end up being killers. And that's, most clown films are actually like that. Most of them. But some have other things kind of tied into it, you know. Stitches, I like the the fact that they kind of played in that the clown, they had their own like Illuminati kind of thing. They had a clown painted on an egg like of the clown that passed away and then they brought in the spirit. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with it with a clown horror film. Kind of similar like with zombies. We all have heard the same damn thing with zombies. Sometimes they explain it, sometimes they don't. Clowns. I think the mystique behind not explaining it is even better. That's my opinion. But, you know, there, there's, there's some ways that you can deal with it. You, there really is, you know? Obviously, the most iconic, everyone knows Pennywise, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I'm going to keep beating it like a dead horse, because that really is. And Captain Spaulding, it, there's, I believe there's going to be more coming out in the future. They already are talking about doing another uh, House of a Thousand Corps and Devil's Rejects, another sequel. So there's going to be a part three for that. So I'm anxious to see how they were going to do, do, do with that, you know? Everyone thought it was going to be 31, because... I don't know if you remember the teaser trailers had a clown and the makeup and he was all bloodied up, which was pretty cool. But 31 was another good one. I liked it. I think, I don't think they should make a sequel to it, but for what it was, if you've never seen it, it was really good because you had a lot of the killers or gauntlet guys. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it. They were all dressed up in some sort of clown makeup, you know? Obviously, the main character, Doomhead, he said he wasn't a clown, and the makeup kind of gave it away that he kind of dressed like a clown. And it, it, it's like a, like an irony kind of thing, you know. You're not there to make someone laugh. You're gonna go and fuck up their day, shit like that. But that was another good one. I mean, it really was. And when you start thinking about other ones like Funhouse, that was another good one I liked. And there, there's, you know, like I said, the Full Moon series. If you really like clowns, on Hulu. I don't know if you saw my What's On segment, but on Hulu, they have a lot of different clown horror films on there. Anything and everything from Full Moon. So if you're interested in those, check those out. Man, so much clown shit. It got me excited. I'm actually almost out of breath on this. But, um, you know, and then if you start thinking about it, too, with other clowns, it doesn't have to necessarily be horror films that contain clowns. There could be other creepy clowns in there that scare the shit out of people. The... Other mastermind that I think is really good at making clowns look creepy and scary right off the bat it has to be Tim Burton. If you guys ever seen his early works and all the stop motion animation shit that he did, you know, a little bit with Beetlejuice and things like that, my 
personal favorite clowns, and I probably posted this on my Facebook page or Twitter, you'll hear the theme, but there's a part where Pee Wee Herman, he gets knocked down, and he has this weird fucked up dream of his bike being all broken up, and then he sees these doctors dressed as clowns, and how they're trying to fix it and everything, and that, with comp if you combine that with the Danny Elfman music, the clown theme with it, oh man, that... <laughs> To me, that, that's my style of clowns that I like, you know? But, you know, there's very, uh, various other different types of clowns and stuff like that. My point being on that one is it was creepy for some. It was creepy for others. I liked it, but that's not to say that clowns could still be creepy just specifically in horror films, you know? I've known... <laughs> Growing up, I know there, there's people that didn't like the fucking Ronald McDonald and everything like that and other crazy clowns and shit. But, you know, it's... Clowns are meant to amuse, but also at the same time, they can be scary as fuck, you know? Depends on how it's interpreted by somebody who's watching it and things like that. For me, I'd say make more fucking clown horror films. Keep them coming. Keep them raining. Keep them coming. Because I'm going to be there to watch them. I don't know if you guys will be there to watch them. But I'll support it either way because that's the new genre thing coming out. And it's changing. It really is. And I like that, you know? So if you guys like clowns and horror films, I mean, support it, watch it, do what you want. You know, for me, I'm going to still keep watching it, still keep airing it up, you know? If I see another good clown horror film coming around, I might, you know, let you guys know. I know there was an article I posted. I'll have to repost it again on my Facebook. It talks about uh, the top 40 is no, 40 is the top 40 scary clowns of all time. So in this episode, I'm just telling you mostly about movies. I didn't get into the TV shows. You know, that's too much of that shit. But it gives you the breakdown of like the top 40 scariest clowns in TVs, pop culture, uh, horror films, and I'll have to repost that up when I release this episode. For you guys you know so that way you go can kind of see how it is and there was some good shit on there there really was but i'm glad you guys tuned in you followed me rambling on about all this about clowns and all that but man it, it's it's some good shit some of my favorites it really is but anyways thanks for tuning in to the saw guy podcast i'll catch you all next time stay tuned all right